Hey, welcome back to my channel. So glad you could join me. Anytime you're having people over and you want to put out just a little snack or a treat, mixed nuts are always a great option, but we want to make them, well, oil-free at least. They're not going to be fat-free because obviously nuts have fat, but they're good fat. We want to make ours oil-free, but we want to make them delicious and better than buying the ones that are deep fried. Let's make our own. If you don't know who I am, my name is Vicki Lynn. Welcome to my channel. So glad you guys could join me again. Just wanted to show you, holidays are coming. Just wanted to show you a quick, easy, delicious vegan nut recipe. So I'm actually using aquafaba. I've already kind of blended it. So all you do, so if you don't know what aquafaba is, it's actually bean juice, aqua being the water, and faba being bean, so the bean water. And that is what you normally find in like chickpea is the one that's most commonly used. So I just blended mine up. Now the other thing that you can use aquafaba for, it's <clears throat> like a replacement for egg whites. So you can whip it like egg whites and use it as a meringue. Um, use it as a binder. So that's what we're going to use it for today. Now you could do this recipe and just replace it um, with about a tablespoon or so of a little bit of oil. We're just going to use this because we want our seasonings to bind with our nuts. And this is such a simple recipe but very delicious. So we're going to leave our aquafaba in our bowl. We could add our nuts in actually. So I'm going to use a cup of raw nuts. All of the nuts are going to be raw. And we want to preheat our oven to 325. So we're going to use a cup of raw almonds, toss that into our egg whites, some walnuts, and you pick the nuts that you like, walnuts, um, a few pecans. Watch the pecans, I find they burn a little bit easier. And just some Brazil nuts. I'm going to throw in this one. We're just going to, then I'm going to toss them in the egg whites. Now we're going to make ours spicy and sweet with a little twist. So I'm going to put that aside. You need a little cutting board. To that, we're going to add a little bit of rosemary. And I do actually have a little fresh rosemary plant here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of rosemary. And we're just going to finely chop it. Doesn't have to be super fine. You want a little bit of the rosemary in there. And it doesn't have to be a lot. You could use a different spice if you have a different fresh spice. But rosemary is pretty sturdy, so it stands up to everything. Okay. Rosemary and... And to our bowl, we're going to add a couple of teaspoons of coconut sugar. Hey, before we go any further, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, scooch over, hit that bell icon. And always remember, recipe will be down below. So we're going to add a little bit of coconut sugar. You could use maple sugar. Um, you could also sub in maple syrup if that's what you had. You could even use brown sugar if you wanted to. I'm adding just half of a teaspoon of vanilla. You just want the essence of it. You don't want a lot of it. And I am using about a teaspoon or so of this flaked um, sea salt. I like the big flakes in it. You could also use just fine sea salt if that's what you have. No worries. And we're going to, for the cooker, use about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne. If you think that's too much for you, add an eighth of a teaspoon, add a sprinkle. You do whatever you think you would like. The, this just adds that little depth of flavor and makes them super addictive. All right, so we're just going to toss that all. And we're just using the aquafaba in place of the oil so that our toppings or our flavors stick to the nuts. Now you could sub, obviously, butter or oil. I like to try to keep it a little bit 
oil. And now we're going to thread them onto just a cookie sheet with either parchment paper or a silk pad because they are going to get a little sticky. And we want to make sure, and you want to spread them out. Now we want to toast them in our oven. So just a nice even row. Don't crowd them too much. We want them to nicely toast. We're going to toast them for about 10 minutes. We're going to give them a little flip. And then we're going to check them at that point. They might be done. They may need another five minutes. Depends on your oven. Everybody's oven is different. You're going to have to go with your gut instinct. If they're nice and toasty brown after 10 minutes, take them out, let them set, because they are going to cook a little bit longer. And if you think that they're not quite there, then you might want to put them in for an extra two, three, maybe five minutes. Let's get these in the oven and see how delicious they are when they come out. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Let's take a look at our nuts. Oh, those look lovely. I'm just going to give them a nice little flip. And they could probably just use another couple of minutes. And literally, I'm going to say like three minutes. Spread them back out. Back in. Set your timer. Three minutes. Okay, so the timer's gone off. Those are perfect. We're going to let these cool for just give them a little toss. We don't want them to stick on the bottom. Make sure they're not sticking. Perfect. So give them a toss. You want to let them sit for about 10 minutes. Give them another toss. Again, we don't want them sticking. We'll let them cool completely. And then you're going to put them in. an airtight container if they last that long and they're ready to eat. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I have a few more of these sweet and savory different types of nuts coming up that we can serve at the holidays for get togethers, football time, just about any time. See you in the next one guys.